Istanbul, Istanbul, a city that spans both Europe and Asia, serves as a fitting host for the UEFA Champions League final, featuring two Asian-owned teams with global appeal. Manchester City, majority owned by Abu Dhabi, and Internazionale, owned by Chinese investors, reflect the diverse nature of this ancient city which has been a melting pot and a nexus throughout its nearly three millennia of existence. Istanbul has experienced constant change, perhaps due to its position as a meeting point for people, religions, and cultures, leading to multiple name changes over the years. Standing on the shores of the Bosphorus Strait, one can witness Ukrainian grain being transported by Turkish warships. Even today, Istanbul remains a vibrant crossroads. If one had extraordinary sight, they could see Ukraine and Russia in the distance. To the west lies the European Union, while to the south lies Egypt and the African continent. Towards the east, one finds Syria, followed by Iraq, Iran, and ultimately the Gulf. This strategic location explains why Turkish Airlines proudly claims to fly to more destinations than any other airline, with the exception of Australia and the Americas. The cosmopolitan nature of Istanbul has attracted numerous foreign players, who have found a home in its football clubs. Gulenzrai, the newly crowned champions, can count on Mata, Moro Icardi, Dries Mertens, and Bafatembi Gamis among their ranks. Fener boss boasts Misi Batswadi, Inner Valencia, and Joshua King. Besiktas, whose imposing stadium overlooks the Bosphorus and the Dolmabas Palace, houses players like Nathan Redmond. Dele Ali, and Vincent Abubakar, who lost his job at Al Nasser when Cristiano Ronaldo joined the team. Furthermore, Istanbul is a city that often witnesses the culmination of football careers. Internazionale can expect to receive a fair amount of neutral support at the Ataturk Olympic Stadium, given their underdog status. The team has a blend of experienced players and those seeking redemption former Premier League veterans such as Henrik Mahicharyan, Edin Zeko, and Matteo Darmian, Premier League strugglers like Romelu Lukaku, who is on loan from Chelsea, Francesco Acerbi, a two-time cancer survivor turned unwanted free agent turned defensive stalwart, and goalkeeper Andre Onana, who served a doping ban after mistakenly taking his wife's medication. They are on the verge of achieving the Premier League, FA Cup, and Champions League treble, a feat accomplished by only seven clubs in history. On the other hand, Manchester City enters the final as strong favourites. In contrast, Inter finished third in Italy's Serie A, a substantial 18 points behind the league leaders, Napoli, although they did win the Italian Cup. Manchester City, under the guidance of their as team coach, Pep Guardiola, has dominated the Premier League, winning five of the past six titles. Guardiola, recognized as one of the greatest tactical innovators and man-managers, was also a key player in Johan Cruyff's legendary Barcelona dream team of the 1990s. Inter's coach, Simone Inzaghi, in comparison, has yet to win a league title or Champions League, and his position was in doubt earlier in the season. As a player, Inzaghi lived in the shadow of his more charismatic and intense brother, Pipo often reminding people not to mistake his politeness for stupidity. Both teams feature tall center forwards, Manchester City boasts a 22-year-old goal machine Erling Holland, who has scored an impressive 52 goals in 52 games this season. While Inter relies on the experienced 37-year-old Ed Zeko, who recently joined the team as a free agent after a gold drought lasting three and a half months. While Manchester City is backed by the Abu Dhabi royal family, who have invested heavily in the club since their takeover in 2008, they have faced sanctions for breaching financial fair play FFP, rules in the past. Inter, on the other hand, is owned by the Sunni Corporation, which faced liquidity issues and had to sell a significant portion of its shares to the Chinese government. Both clubs have encountered FFP violations, which have affected their financial capabilities. In their journey to the final, Manchester City remains undefeated in the Champions League, defeating RB Leipzig, Bayern Munich, and Real Madrid in the knockout phase. Inter, however, stumbled twice in the group stage but managed to progress past FC Porto, Benfica, 
and their local rivals, AC Milan, in the knockout round. Ultimately, when the two teams step onto the pitch, all the external factors such as FFP, financial resources, and past accomplishments will fade away. The outcome will depend solely on the players, coaches, match officials, and the whims of the football gods. While it is unlikely that the Ataturk Olympic Stadium will witness a comeback as dramatic as Liverpool's in 2005, where they overcame a 3-0 deficit against AC Milan, the unpredictable nature of football means anything can happen. The script for this final is yet to be written, and it will be up to the individuals on the field to prove themselves once again and determine the course of the match.